Eddie Merckx of Holland leads the pack, followed by countryman Jan Jansen, Raymond Sayes of Spain, and Gianni Motta of Italy. Britain's Bob Addy stayed with the leaders for the first 80 miles, then had to give up the race, unable to maintain the killing pace. This one separates the men from the boys. Down the home stretch, and the favorite, Eddie Merckx, wins by only half a wheel. Merckx becomes world champ, and a big wheel. On Hey guys, we're back. We gotta talk about something. We gotta talk about suffering. How to suffer, what is suffering? I don't know if you should ask me because I totally forgot yesterday on the bike. I broke down. Man, I let, it wasn't even my physical limitations. I let my psychological limitations get to me because I looked at my data. I didn't even go into red once. But I think there's some model that I need to follow that you know a guy who said it best. And he said, shut up legs because my legs are screaming at me and I decide to listen. But you gotta remember one thing, you're not gonna die on a bike. You just need to push through. And that's what I forgot to do. And I think it comes from a couple of things. A lot of soft riding has been done on my part lately. I mean, I've been commuting, I've been putting the miles in, but they haven't been hard miles, they've been soft miles. I've been worried about, oh, if I ride too hard, will I'll be okay at work. If I ride too hard in the morning, will I have enough energy to ride home? I just need to throw all that stuff to the wind. I almost said it. All that stuff to the wind and get back on the bike and start riding hard. And if I have to sit on the side of the curve and feel like I throw up, well be it. That's what we need to get done to get back into the shape. Because like I said, we've been putting the miles in, but they ain't real miles. I think who Eddie Merck said it best? If you're not suffering, you're not running the race. Whoever suffers the most wins the race. Probably not exactly like that but it's something close. Eddie, help me out, baby. All right, I'll talk to you guys later on this video. Oh man, I'm really feeling it today. Feeling sluggish, but hey, we're getting in. I'm just trying not to slow Donnie down too much because he's actually feeling really good. But anyway, hey, what are you gonna do? All right, tea stop. This is the lady who passed me like I was standing still on the mountain. Oh my god, yeah. I, hey. She's like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm hurting. She's like, it looked perfectly fine. She went right by me. Alright, the ride's over. We're over here for our celebratory food. Donnie's already lifted up the beer. One of six I will be having before the drive back to Atlanta. We'll edit that part out just in case if some cops are watching. <laughs> uh, but it was hard. I was definitely in a dark place. I had dreams about throwing my bike over the cliff. Quit cycling, never riding again. It was awful. So now we're about to have some oysters, some fish and chips, some pitch rings. It's gonna be great. All right, I'll see you guys after the dinner.